So this video, when I researched it, it was an eye opener for me. And in this video, we're going to discover and kind of look over some numbers and say, how are people actually affording to come to Las Vegas right now? I'm going to focus on California because 25% of all of the people who visit Las Vegas tend to come from California. And the numbers break down pretty interestingly. I think you're going to like that. This is a numbers video. But in the main question in this video that we're going to ask is, how is it that people are coming to Las Vegas right now when apparently so many people are out of work, they don't have any money? And people have been saying it's the stimulus, but I'm going to argue that it isn't. But as I dug into it, I said, holy cow, if I understand this correctly, there can be so much money going to the people of California that they don't even have to work. They can just live for free and come to Las Vegas or even do side jobs. And then the big question is what happens when all of this money coming from state and federal levels goes away later on this year? Will people be back to work? Will the high rollers come in enough? Will we have international travel open to get people back here? It's not a negative video. So I know sometimes I've been skewering towards that in the last little while and I apologize. But how's it going, everybody? My name is Steven and I'm not leaving Las Vegas. I'm a Vegas blogger. I hope you guys would like, share, subscribe, hit the bell for future notifications. And be honest, you have you or somebody that you know taking your stimulus money and come to Vegas with it. And if you did, I'm not vilifying you. Or maybe somebody you know is living off of unemployment money, working a side job. Don't be a narc and tell everybody what they're, who they are. But do you know somebody like that? Are they really doing what I think they might be doing in some cases? If you guys want to support us further, we have, of course, uh, our Patreon and our channel memberships. Excellent ways to support the channel. Get your name in the credits. Get extra content over on Patreon. And uh, we do live streams on the weekend. So if you're on channel memberships, you get special chat icons next to your name. And uh, we also have VegasFaceMask.com. No S at the end. Now we're still making these and we're still getting orders for these, which is kind of kind of wild and we're surprised, but we're happy and grateful, of course. Always be grateful. Now these uh, are made by my wife, Caroline. They go directly to you, ship out for free across the United States. We ship to Canada and the EU and the UK for a shipping fee. Uh, but these are good if you work in a business and you still have to wear them. Uh, these are good if you have to fly, you have to wear one. These are good if you haven't had the vaccine and you're some of the 65% of people that are supposed to wear one of these if you don't have a vaccine. So VegasFaceMask.com, all handmade. They go around to the back of your head, not your ears. Commercials are over. Man, we pushed to the intro of this video. I'd like to try to get them done less than two minutes. But we have to look at the numbers, okay? So the whole theme of the channel and the live streams when people ch chat with me and I talk back to them has been, hey, Steven, you know, stimulus money is the only thing you're seeing right now. But wait a minute, hold on a second. You know, the stimulus money was nearly two months ago. It was $1,400 per person or $2,800 per couple, coupled with, <laughs> coupled with, see what I did there? Uh, put together with the previous stimulus that came out, uh, it's about $2,000 per person. So I looked at the cost of living in California. I thought to myself, will the stimulus money allow a person in California to have that much extra wealth to actually come to Vegas? So I looked at a couple of things, the median rent, electric costs, car insurance, gas prices, cell phone, and I added them together. Now, I just did the best I could. If you're from California, a lot of you are. Tell me if I'm right or wrong in the comments below. Hey, if you're from California, what's your rent? Type it in the comments below. Make that the comment and the question of the day. We looked at San Francisco, LA, San Diego, Sacramento, and Bakersfield. We used a median and not an average. Averages don't work because you you have highs and lows and low, low numbers can throw off the data set. So the median price through for those uh, places is $2,391 a month in rent in California. I know, right? We think we have it tough out here. It's very expensive in California. Electric costs, according to California Edison, which is their utility provider in California for most of it, $101 a month. Car insurance, uh, I think my math got me down to $153, but it might actually be half I think I looked at it six months of a premium and I, I actually multiplied for the year, but I believe it's, let's call it $60, whatever. Gas on average, according to the state of California, $3.91 a gallon. The average Californian drives 12,000 some odd miles a year. And you do the math and you get to $185 a month uh, for gasoline, for your car, cell phone, 80 bucks. I just took the highs and lows and said, okay, maybe you got one of those uh, prepaid things for 80 bucks. $2,900, we'll call it $2,850 if I did my car insurance premiums wrong. That's a lot of money. That's more money than it would take for you to have your stimulus and come to Las Vegas. But then I thought to myself, okay, mm, you know what? What about that unemployment insurance? Right now across the country, uh, the federal government is paying $300 a, a week to people, which is $1,200 a month. But the state of California has this ridiculous chart 
I mean, there's so many programs. There's regular state unemployment for 26 weeks, PUA, pandemic emergency assistance, unemployment compensation for 13 weeks, up to 53 weeks total, federal state extended duration, 20 weeks benefits of unemployment beginning May 10th, uh, PUA for small business owners, 46 weeks of benefits, federal stimulus, $600 added to weekly benefits. It's so much so wait a minute, I can't even figure this out. What are they getting paid for California's unemployment? Is it $900 a week? Is it $3,600 a month? Because if it is, then I guess you don't even need to have a job. You can just come out to Las Vegas and we'll be the beneficiary of that stimulus money and that unemployment. But then you know what? I don't know if that's the case, okay? And by the way, if you're out there and you're getting these benefits and you really need them, then my heart goes out to you. I hope you find a job. We had somebody on the channel named Watbury who worked long and hard to find a position after he was let go from another industry. And we've all been living through the chats with him. So guys, thank you. Good work, Watbury. Kick ass. Do your thing. I'm glad you got a job. But some people are not working. And we just know this. In society, there's always people that just don't want to work. And that's unfortunate. So if you just don't want to work, you're making $3,600 a month. Sure, come on down to Vegas. You know, hey, spend your money here. But what happens at the end of all that? <laughs> That's the main question I guess we have. What happens when these programs go away? When the federal government in September, if they do decide that, you know what? We can't support this any longer. The $300 goes away. And the state of California has a recall election coming up. They're gonna have another recall. You guys remember when Arnold was elected? That's where they have the, the basically say, hey, we don't like our governor. We need a new governor. They're having that election in a few months. When that happens, if the new governor says no more of this extra California money coming in, where does that put Las Vegas? I think we're going to be okay. I think we're, as time goes on, we're going to have more people coming into town that have the money to come in from other places. More people are getting vaccines, although I think we might be up to that level where nobody more, no more people are really going to go for the vaccine. We've gotten the people vaccinated that were going to be willing to do it, plus the people that were super reluctant like myself. But I think we'll be all right as people do come back to town, as big events come back to town, as the NFL returns this fall, for example, as concerts like Garth Brooks and the newly announced George Strait concert come back in, it'll bring money into town, money that's not all put into, not all kind of predicated off the fact that it's coming from the government. It's a tough spot, right? You don't have a crystal ball. You can't analyze that down far down the line. But you just hope that everything's going to be okay. I like to be a Pollyanna about stuff, although most of my videos seem kind of doomish lately. I guess I'm falling into the whole trap of on YouTube, you have to be the most crazy looking title to get the people to watch. But I always try to give something good to you. This is all food for thought. And I'm curious what you guys think in the comments below of this video. Tell me what you think. Do you know anybody, like I asked, who are actually living off of these federal benefits? By the way, there's people that are working on the side. You might be getting all this money from the government where you live and from the federal government and your local state government, and you might be actually working a side gig. And that means that you have even more money. And if you're coming to Vegas, I guess I'm happy for it. But at the same time, man, you should be doing the right thing and, and reporting that income. Always do the right thing. It'll always catch up to you in the end. And somehow the government always has a way of finding out, trust me. But that's my video today. I'm curious on your thoughts. And I'm, that's my video, as I say, and I'm sticking to it. And I appreciate the person who sent me this uh, Chiefs shirt right here. Actually, the same person sent me that little black cat statue in the back, that sculpture. So thank you guys so much. We do have the unboxing coming up, but I'm trying to do it on the weekend. Uh, these videos right here, these are great for the weekday videos because we can explore comments and, and generally just kind of look at datas and all that kind of thing and do some analysis. But yeah, share your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. If you guys want to support the channel, VegasFaceMask.com. You notice I was wearing it underneath the shirt. So if you got to travel with it, you got to go and use it when you're going into a shop or a store. I've been stopped a few times here in town, told to put on my face mask even though I have the vaccine. There you go. And if you guys want to support us further, we have the I'm Vaxxed shirt.com website. You guys can check it out there. And that's something that supports the channel. And if you're not, show the link to somebody who is. Maybe they buy a shirt. All right. That's the time of the video. I say three, two, one, click. Are you ready for this? Three, two, one, and click.